In this tutorial, we are going to learn about set interval method in JavaScript. The set interval method repeatedly calls a function. The syntax for the set interval is a function followed by a delay. Same like set timeout, but the operation is going to be different. So here this function will be executed every delay millisecond. So there this function is going to execute it only after the delay, right? So here in the set interval, so this function is going to execute it every after this delay. Let's say the delay is 1000 millisecond, which is equivalent to one second, right? So every after one second, this function is going to be executed repeatedly. So let me give you this simple example for the easy understanding. So what I'm going to do, let me create a variable x is equals to 10. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to create a variable again, variable, uh, let me say interval equals, I'm going to use a method name as set interval. So this set interval is going to take two parameters, isn't it? So I hope you know, right? So it's going to take two parameters. First one is a function. Another one is a, the delay. So here in the delay, let me say uh, 1000. Okay, is a delay. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to set, I'm just trying to increment this x value. So x, I'm going to use assignment operator x plus equals to 10. So what does that mean? x is equal to x plus 10. In this case, x value will become 20. So this set interval function is going to work every after one second. So this x value will be incremented every after one millisecond because that is a set interval. So first one second, the x value will be 20. The next second, the x value will be 20. The next second, x value will be 30. So what we can do, let me create the p tag here with an id. Let me call this p tag here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to say document dot get element by id. I'm going to say demo. Or oh, let me say, I'm going to say dot inner html equals x. So what would be the result? So every after a second, this x value is going to be incremented. Initially, it's going to be 20. Then from there, every after a second, the value is going to be incremented. So let me save and refresh. So 20, you see 30, 40, 50, 60. It just keep on incrementing every after a second. So if I increase the delay here instead of 1000, if I say 3000, let me save and refresh. So what is going to happen? This function is going to be executed every after three seconds. So when I refresh, you will see 20, it will wait for three seconds. Again, it's going to increment 30, 40, just like that. So this is how set interval method would work. What if, if I want to stop this interval, there is a method again, the method name called clear interval. So this clear interval method stopped a time function specified by the set interval method. Simply specify an interval ID of an interval you want to stop so that it can stop the set interval method. So let me give you this simple example. Maybe we can just make use of the same example. What we can do just like the way that we have done for the set timeout. Let me create a button. Uh, the button I'm going to use an on click event. So here I need to call the function, right? So the name of the function, let me say two, I'm going to uh, stop the interval so let me just say that stop interval so what i'm going to do i'm just going to call this function into my javascript so here let me just copy so i'm going to make the function here uh, i can say function name of the function so here inside i'm going to use the method as clear interval so this is uh, different from clear timeout so this one is going to be clear interval so as usual, we need to pass this variable as a parameter here to stop that set interval time. So let me just save them here. I hope when I save and refresh, now every after, there is a button here, there is a no label. No wonder that it's giving me like that. Just put a label here for the button. Where is the button? Here. Maybe let's say stop timer. Save and refresh. By default, it will be just running like 20, 30 every after three seconds because I have put 3000 here. Let me just reduce to 1000 so that we can see the timer would work fast. So 20, 
30. So when I click stop timer, because of this clear interval method, it's going to stop immediately. It's done. It's no longer moving. So this is how we can stop the interval with the help of clear interval method. Now I hope you know how to use the set interval and clear interval method in JavaScript. For more tutorial videos, don't forget to subscribe the channel.